Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Chelsea. Um, I do uh, so many unboxings. Today we're going to talk about books. I have been doing vlogs, but things happened. I will leave the video up above that will explain what has been going on. Also, I'm sorry about the light. Um, this is like my filming space for right now until I can get something new. <laughs> Waiting on the insurance company. Anyways, so I have a book haul for you. This is going to be in two parts because I can't even see. Two parts. Thank you, sunlight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so this is going to be in two parts because I have a book buying problem. It's out of control. Uh, also, I thought this shirt would be appropriate to wear. It's like my love of cats and books all in once. So that's appropriate. Anyway, so let's get started. So the first book, it's like one of those books where I'm like, YouTube made me buy it, like BookTube made me buy it. And that is this book. It is Because You Love to Hate Me, um, 13 Tales of Villainy. It's authors, like YA authors and booktubers got together and created 13 stories. And the cover is beautiful. Like, hello. Um, I did get this at Barnes and Noble because I couldn't find it anywhere. I kept looking in Target. I just, I looked everywhere. So finally I was like, all right, I'm just going to go to Barnes and Noble. I'm going to see if they have it. I went to the front desk. I asked the lady to look it up for me and she found it. So I am very excited to read this. I think this might be the next book that I read after I'm finished with it, which is right here reminding me I'm not done. I'm like close to being done, close to being done, but I don't think I'll be done before the movie ends. Anyway, so I think this will be the next book that I read after that. Not positive, but everybody's reading it and I don't like to be behind. So that that's going to have to be done. Next book I got, I believe I got this at Goodwill. Yes, I did. This is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkins. Harkness? Harkness. And it's book one of the All Souls trilogy. Um, again, I just, like, I don't know. I think with fall coming, I'm just really, like, I'm drawn to, like, witchy stories and like villain stories and I don't know dark things and I got this for $2.99 I'll say it again the thrift store is a really awesome place to get books it's just super incredible so uh yeah so this is book one I didn't even realize it says what that said but book one in a trilogy so I'll have to look out for the other books um, the next one I got while I was in Canada, um, I'm still trying to get up all my Canadian stuff. I have, I have all the clips on here, but I'm like, how do I put it together? I don't even know yet because the thing I had to put together is gone. But I got this at a, um, a museum that Dad and I checked out, kind of to find out the history of Niagara on the Lake. And me being the creepy person that I am, I was so excited about this book and seeing this. This is called Stones, Saints, and Sinners. Um, it's a second edition with supplement by Fred Habmerl and Donald L. Combe. And what it is, is a walking tour of Niagara on the Lake's large historic cemeteries with a supplementary tour of rural burial sites. So it's really, it like looks really cool because it tells you about most of the um, cemeteries and the um, the different plots and what they mean, who is buried in these plots. Um, see, they have like St. Pinsent. St. Vincent? St. Vincent de Paul Cemetery. So it's this corner of Picton. Street and Wellington, um, and it just like it says like general observations, um, and like the monument center in it. So cool. Um, 
I literally, I told Don, I was like, I want to go back and literally go through the cemeteries because that's just who I am. I like things like this. It was kind of an expensive book. It was $14.95. I think Canadian. I don't remember exactly American what I paid for it, but with the exchange, I, I can't even, I don't even really have an answer for you. Um, the next couple of books, a friend of mine, we went to a used bookstore in Rochester, um, and I found some gems. Now, when I was little, let me tell you about this book, I had all of the Goosebumps books, all of them. Then my mom took them <laughs> to her classrooms, and now they're gone. So, I was like, oh, I really want to get my, my stuff back, you know? So I found this one at the bookstore. This is The Haunted Mask, which was one of my favorite ones ever. Like, I loved this one. Um, so I'm kind of, I really want to collect all of the Goosebumps books. This shop was a little ridiculous. It was $1.50 for this. Which, like, these things should be like 50 cents, right? I would think they'd be like 50 cents. That's just me. So I got that. Really excited about that. I'm totally going to read that. Another kind of dark and creepy book that will be good for this coming season. Then I found this one. Um, it's called Black Glass. It's short fictions by Karen Joy Fowler. Um, I believe these are short stories that are kind of creepy. Um, I think that's what this is. Yeah, I think these are, like, really creepy, kind of, like, look at that cover. It's so pretty. Um, so short, kind of scary stories, which will be awesome. Again, another great book for something that is going to be great for fall. Um, and then I found The Beloved by M.D. Gray. Um, also kind of a scary book it looks like an independent author you know sometimes like the covers you can just tell it's just like an independent kind of cover or uh author an independent book this was four dollars again kind of ridiculous for a used book but it was fun going through there and then also the suggestion of my friend that place I've seen the movie, I've not read the book, and that is Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. I will give it a shot, even though, like, I'm like, it's so popular, and I, I don't know. Leave me a comment down below if you've read it before, if you liked it, with the movie better. I usually like to read the book before I see the movie, but I've already seen the movie. Yeah. Next is a beautiful treasure. I <laughs> can't believe I even found this. Um, didn't know this was it. If you have read Death Note, this is fantastic. Um, this is L. This is Change the World, written by M. I don't know what that means, but look at this cover. I can't wait to read this. Um, this is, this was $4.99 at uh, Goodwill, like, <sighs> hello, I didn't even know this existed, where did this come from, where did this come from, because that was a gem, and the last book, before I run out of time, because we're almost at the 10 mark, 10 minute mark, um, I picked up Last Sword by Victoria Aveyard, this was also at Goodwill, this was $6.99, I have the first book, have not read the first book yet, but at least now I can go to the second book once I read the first book. Um, yeah, so I just, you know, I'm going to read that, and then I'll have the second book, and I won't have to wait for the second book. So that will be exciting. All right, so that was, that was a lot of books. Um, that was part one of my book haul. There are so many more books that I bought this month. It was ridiculous. Leave me a comment down below as to what books you bought this month. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button because I'm uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.